let's cover up those heads and keep everybody healthy, safe. Winter weather advisories have been posted for various areas including southeastern Idaho there, up around uh, Bear Lake and into the Jim State and into the corner of Wyoming because that system that is attached to the front to our south could rear its ugly head again and spread some snow across the southeastern part of the state. Uh, and wind chills this morning have us in the teens in IF and in Jackson's 13 to 15 degrees. And this is the warm front I'm referring to, which where uh, it can uh, just it begins to bend and this area of low pressure behind it shifts and we start to see more moisture being pumped up with the counterclockwise motion from uh, the uh, four corners. So watch as it makes the transition from rain into some cooler air and then we start to get snow showers into the southeastern part of Idaho down through the state line and that does include Pocatello by 11 o'clock tonight. So the overnight hours may yield some snow showers upwards of four to eight inches into the corner of our state and uh, we'll add that up for you and show you that Jackson may experience a little bit of that as well, especially to the southeastern part and into Pinedale as well. And there may be a couple of inches of snow that uh, push up through Income into Pocatello. Be good for Pebble Creek if we can get some fresh snow over there as well. But everybody else is going to see a dusting for the remainder of uh, the day today and the rest of the weekend. Uh, the snow that fell overnight making things slick this morning and creating some trouble spots with the fog. So be careful and give yourself a little extra time. It'll be 28 in Afton today, 33 in Montpelier Burn, 33 in Soda Springs winter weather advisory for that finger of eastern Idaho, southeastern Idaho, 37 in Preston, 39 in Malad. And we go to the upper highlands where it'll be in the mid to upper 20s to around 31 in Rexburg and St. Anthony and teens overnight. We've got some single digit overnight lows coming this week. Once we get this system out of the way, bring in some dry cold air, but it will be right there around freezing in salmon today and 16. The jet port there is covered with snow on the tarmac into Simone. It'll be 32 in IF for the afternoon, upper teens to around 20 in Blackfoot and pushing 40 degrees from Aberdeen to Pocatello with overnight lows in the 20s. Your local news eight day extended forecast has us at freezing today in Ammon and Rigby and Bone. It'll be 18 tonight. You've got fog around and maybe a snow shower left over into the mid 20s for Sunday and Monday and then we get back toward single digits with some of these overnight lows. Pocatello 50% chance of snow tonight. Remaining snow chances into Saturday and Sunday and temperatures drop to around freezing with overnight lows back into the teens and we'll take you to Blackfoot where lingering snow probability is very slight but it'll be around freezing if not below for Sunday and Monday right around 29 but and cold. We'll be back into the mid teens overnight so we get the dry air in here after we get the snow chances done bringing the fog for tomorrow in Rexburg. It'll be 30. You may have some patchy fog to contend with this morning as well. Give yourself extra time. Look out for the other guy. Don't get crazy. Everybody will get there seven tonight and it'll be 22 tomorrow and we'll be in the single digits for overnight lows as salmon. 20% chance of a remaining shower freezing today. Then we're going to get back into the mid 20s single digit overnight lows cold through the period and we'll be back toward 30 by next week. Jackson, you're going to bottom out at five below zero for Monday morning with snow chances through the weekend and freezing conditions today below that 26 for Saturday and Sunday with snow still flying as we get that last little push from the system to the south. Let's check sports. Here's Dylan Carter.